The Airbus 321 is certified to fly up to, up to flight level 390, but it rarely goes that high because it can't, at least on most days. And it's like this for most modern jet aircraft. They can't always go up to their service ceiling. Why? Well, lots of reasons. Primary being weight and, of course, the atmospheric conditions present at the time of the flight. Now, for short flights like Dallas to Austin, we could probably go 390 if we had the time. But that's a short flight, right? This is a fictitious flight from Orlando to Seattle with 45,000 pounds of fuel. Now, on the screen here is the cruise altitude, by 320, which is right below the optimal altitude recommended by the airplane, giving all the data it has. The max is 50340, saying, hey, if you go any higher than this, it's not a good idea. Any higher, we'll have almost no thrust available in case we have encounter turbulence. And our window between the slowest speed we can go and the highest speed we can go will get really small. On the right-hand side of the screen are my speed tape. There's a max speed, and then there's the Airbus VLS, the lowest selectable speed. In between those, that's my window. That's all I have. On the left-hand side of the screen is the thrust limit. That is the maximum thrust the engine can give right now with climb power. And you might say, well, Darren, what if you just climb higher than 340? Let's just do it. Okay, well, I can go higher than 340. Now I'm going to fly with 390 because that's the highest it can go. You can see the engine's revving up to full speed, and it's still not enough. So now I'll go ahead and give it toga power. Give it all the power it has. If you watch, it's not that much. It goes from 93% up to 93.5%. That's it. So this is why we don't go higher. Because again, look, at, then look how small the window is. Look how small the speed tape window is. Horrible idea. Most of us will go 2,000 feet below the recommended max. We'll never go up to max unless it's some weird conditions where it's super smooth. Short video. Have a fabulous day. And as always, thank you for stopping by.